Drop it. Hey everybody, I'm very excited for today's video. I finally got my cinch controller in. If you don't know what a cinch is, you're about to. So, first things first, this is a cinch gaming controller. Obviously the faceplate is different than a PS4. You have multiple different options when ordering it. Um, but getting into the meat of it, the real important stuff. Number one thing, the button mapping on the back. These buttons here, very simple to press, are actually mapped to the buttons here that are to the right of your joystick. You can map them actually to your directional pad and also to uh, your triggers and such if you like. Um, I haven't ever done that, but it could be good. I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe uh, maybe somebody out there will give it a shot and we'll see. Um, so the number one thing about the buttons, being able to press them on the back, is you don't hardly ever have to take your thumb off of this joystick here. Uh, especially when you have it set up in tactical setting for Black Ops or any Call of Duty game really. You just click that in the slide, it just saves you an immense amount of time. And you'll actually notice once you have one, the difference, and then you can actually pick out players who are using a scuff or uh, cinch for that matter. Um, to show the difference between, this is actually an Xbox Elite controller, but very similar on the back you have physical paddles here so you actually have to press the paddle down which then presses a button um, i don't particularly have a preference it naturally just happens um, but if you do prefer a paddle a scuff would be the way to go right off the bat just be weary though that ps4 scuffs do only have two buttons mappable on the back as of may of 2016 so um, they may, they may step it up, I'm not sure. Um, anyhow, another good, good, good thing, and I know a lot of people have this question, do control freaks fit on your cinch? You'll be happy to know that they most certainly do. And your slip, well, slip, we all know that control freaks certainly don't slip right on, but they do fit on, it's just a stock PS4 controller. All the mods are done to an actual stock one. So uh, they do fit on there. Now, the next thing is the lengths of the joysticks. I, of course, have my control freaks. I didn't need to get anything special. The stock is perfectly fine for me because things just snap right on. If you like though, you can get lengthened sticks, you can get short sticks, you can get them domed, or you can get them convex as well. Uh, it's really up to you. Now, another big thing, uh, personally, this controller, for me, when it comes to competitive gaming and what I'm really concerned with, it's strictly Black Ops 3 right now. Um, Call of Duty, you can actually switch these top bumpers here, so I don't really need trigger stops, but nonetheless, I'll explain them to you if you're interested. That's something that's definitely good to know. So a trigger stop is going to make it to where you pull less before it registers that you're actually pulling trigger. So let's say, just for argument's sake, I don't have the exact specifications, but if you needed to pull, say, 75% down on the trigger before it realized that you were pulling, if you have trigger stops, it's gonna recognize it about 10%. Again, though, if you are a Call of Duty fiend like me, definitely check into, uh, I think it's called, I think it's Bumper Jumper or something like that. But basically, it's one of the options in your control options and you can switch those. I really enjoy it personally. Um, another controller that I wanted to go over real fast is called a Battle Beaver. They have very similar specifications, but I'm interested in actually put an order in for one myself, even though I just received my cinch, because they have different options wherein I've never seen a company that will actually give you different tensions on your joysticks. I'm really curious, I'm gonna do some research into how that might help. Um, I know that we, we all lose tension in our joysticks eventually, so maybe it started off with somebody just over-tightened theirs and, and they kind of fell in love with it. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm definitely going to be looking into that. And then Battle Beaver also, a little bit more innovative. You still have your four-button mapping technology, but you can actually choose where to place the buttons. 
So if I wanted one button that was all the way up here, you don't, it's four different options of heights. So they are stock in a certain spot, but you have four options of where to put them. So it's very nice. Um, so I could potentially have one as high as here and as low as here and four sets along the way, as you can imagine. Also both sides. So if I wanted one button down here, one up here, but then these two close together, I could do that as well. Very interesting. And I'll be doing a video on it as soon as I have one in my hands. All right, so I hope that everybody enjoyed the video. If it was informational, please leave a like. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm just showing you all the secrets. So soon, you may have less reason. But remember for now, you're the X. Drop it.